Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Now this reading is gonna be about career and finance only. Um, so I pulled four cards from our uh, angels in your biz. So this is for some of you who have your own business and also for those of you who work a job. So um, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with clear, concise messages from you. All right, so the first card that we pull um, is get outside. You need to take a breather. You had a lot of cards of rest when I was shuffling off camera that were coming out. Some of you just need to take a breather. You need to take time to rest. Some of you are overworking, workaholics. You have crazy schedules. Um, or maybe you work overnight um, or you're working through the night. You're working during the day and then through the night, especially if you're your own business owner. Um, some of you own a business, but you also work in the business. So you are uh, extremely busy here. Then you have grounding. Um, again, refresh and rest. You get another card of resting and grounding the energy, uh, and grounding your energy because you're kind of, when you're all over the place and, and, and granted, some of you need to be all over the place because you work, you either have children or you have a family, um, you have a business, you have your career. Um, you have some things that you're trying to embark on, you're trying to do, start some new stuff, maybe even a course or go back to school altogether. You need to ground yourself because you have just, you know, displaced yourself in so many different directions. You have, you are giving your energy to so many different things that there is not a level of grounding. So maybe you need to do some meditative work, um, meditation each and every day before you get your day started, get up. Be quiet, get in a quiet space, meditate, see what comes to you. Maybe even go into meditation with a question. Um, so therefore you can get it answered, um, but you need to do some grounding or you could do this at night, you know, when you have some downtime, but um, you're kind of scattered. And for some of you, you need to be that way right now, um, but you still need to center yourself because just imagine if you're, if you're scattered each and every day, 30 days out of the month, um, then that's how you're operating and that's how your mental and your emotional is operating also scattered, maybe scattered brain or just scattered emotions. Um, not really processing your emotions. You're all over the place. You don't know how you feel. You don't know if you're coming or you're going, you don't know, you know, because you haven't taken that time to really center, focus, ground. Some of you need to ground yourself. Um, the next card we have is overthinking. So some of you doing a lot of thinking about a certain project, something that you need to either finish or start. The overthinking causes you to not move forward. You stop, there's a halt because you, you know, this thought after this thought and that thought, and, and then it's just like, okay, well, I'm just gonna do nothing or I'll do very little. Also overthinking can sometimes, so we all know about, especially if you're a woman, but I'm pretty sure the men have heard about over-processing or have you ever heard like over-processed hair? Let's say you go into the salon and they leave a chemical process on your hair for too long, then your hair is over-processed. So anything that is over, it's overworked, uh, over-processed, overthinking, then you, you have um, taken it to a place where you've gone too far. You've gone too far from rationale, from uh, the middle ground. So you may be overthinking uh, this idea, this new job, this uh, yourself, your capabilities, your abilities. Um, confidence has also come up, overthinking here. The next card is aligned action. And it says, don't delay, act. Yeah, and also go back to overthink. It's a get out of your head and into your heart. So very nice. Aligned action, don't delay, act with with aligned action. So the universe is trying to line some things up for you. Like you say you want this, you say you want that, you say you, you know, you need this to happen in your life. Okay, we're lining things up for you to take action. The universe and divinity and God and whatever you believe in, or if you believe in nothing, I don't know. Um, the only thing that divinity can do is align things so that you can start making actions because you are living this life. God is not living the life 
for you. The Holy Spirit or whatever you believe in is not living the life for you. You are, you're making uh, decisions, choices, taking action. And when you see that things are lining up for you, you just need to thank the heavens or whatever and then move. You have to take action. You can't sit still and say, oh God, I'm waiting on you. Well, if, if you could hear him, he probably yelled back or she would yell back and say, I'm waiting on you, you know? Take, take this time, especially when things, when it looks like so many opportunities are open up, opening up to you or you're seeing synchronicities or you're, um, you're at a place of, um, yeah, seeing synchronicities or you're constantly seeing something. You're constantly, you know, you thought about going back to school or going to this job or applying to this or doing this or doing that. And as you do that, um, as you're seeing that, you're not taking action. You're standing still. So it's about aligned action. It's about taking the time. It's about having the, having, um, being so centered, being grounded to where you can actually take the time, you know? So let's see what else the cards have to offer us here. All right. So we've got get outside, grounding, overthinking, aligned action. So take some time out, take a breather, rest, ground your energy because you're all over the place. Meditation, overthink it. Don't overwork something. Don't overthink it. Don't over process it. Um, you'll get to a place of where you're not thinking rational, aligned action. It looks like the universe is trying to come in and show you, help you move forward. All right. So let's see. Um, what do we have from the moonology deck? I love this deck. Don't let your past hold you back. So we have the South node. So you may know what your South node is. If you don't know, then you could find out what your South node is, where it is. Is it in Taurus? Uh, Leo, Libras, etc. Um, so it's saying, don't let your past hold you back. What you're, what we're all ascending to is our North Node. Okay, we don't want our past to hold us back. We're trying to come out of that. Um, maybe there was some failure. Maybe things didn't take a flight like you thought they would in the past. Uh, maybe you've had some devastating and some disappointments happen for you or around you. Uh, or maybe, yeah, even to you, don't live in that. Rest in the energy of knowing that there's aligned action, okay? So the universe is working with you this time around. Maybe you had to learn your lesson, you had to learn character, you had to grow, you had to learn to thrive while you are very close to achieving your goal. Right now, the moon is um, waxing gibbous, okay? That's what, what the watch says. And then we have the gibbous moon. And, and the gibbous moon talks about when it's growing bigger. And that's why it's saying you're very close to achieving your goal. You have a goal and it's the, the moon phase before you get to the full moon, before you see the actual full moon here. So it's like something is almost gaining momentum, getting bigger. You're almost close to achieving your goal, whatever that may be for you. Don't give up. Aligned action is here. Don't overthink it. Don't put yourself in a place where you won't win because you are almost, you're close to achieving your goal here in your career, in your finances. What else do we have? Yeah, the tough, the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon. This card specifically talks about fear, okay? Stop fearing the worst. Um, know that things can, uh, are better, getting better. You're in a better state. Um, if it, if it was tough for you in terms of your work, um, know that um, things will, things can only go up. Things are looking up for you. And if you need to end something here, because this talks about the end of a project, so the end of a, um, a, a professional project. So this could be the end of one job, going to another, end of working for someone else, and you're going into self-employment end of self-employment, going back into the workforce, whatever it may be, but a tough cycle, whatever has been tough for you, it's saying that the end of that is here for you. It approaches for you. Um, also, it says that if you've been thinking about moving from one job, one career to the other, the answer is yes. You need to make that move back to aligned action here. All right. Oh, that card flipped out. Let's see. Nothing will come of the situation void of course moon. 
All right, so to do nothing, to stand still, to make no decision, nothing will come of that. There'll be, it's void of course, it's going nowhere, okay? At the bottom of the deck, expect powerful change, new moon eclipse, very nice. So something will be uh, cast out of your life. This is a yes answer, a yes a thousand times, okay? Um, some powerful change is happening in your career, in your finance sector. Um, don't stand still and don't stay where you are. You're in the midst of, you're going to have to either go forward or you can choose to go backward, but you can't not make a decision here. Um, it says nothing will come of just standing still. Nothing from nothing gets you nothing. Void, of course, moon. All right. So let's see what the um, butterfly oracle deck has to offer us in terms of our career and our finance some of you want to go back to school you want to get some more training some more skills it says this is the time to do so one project is ending another one could be beginning you could have some goal that you're trying to reach in terms of your finances maybe a savings goal or maybe you're trying to save up to buy um, to purchase something here it looks like um, you're almost close to achieving your goal don't let the past hold you back yeah you had some setbacks some failures um, I heard stronghold don't let this yeah Maybe, you know, do the work, do the healing work, you know, um, losing your business, your home, your marriage, your, your financial standing can be detrimental and traumatic. Therefore, some of you need to sit with healthcare professional, counselor, therapist, psychotherapist, whomever, and talk about that because it's, it's um, wow, as I say that, cut the deck and it, we have leaving. Can you see that? I know we got a lot of lights going on here um leaving I don't know I can't see it so I'm pretty sure you guys can see anyhow leaving leaving talks about specifically leaving a the toxic situation behind now this could be a job this could be a relationship it could be just um, the toxicity of the past with the south note showing up leaving that behind going into something new um you can't take it with you. You can't hold on to it. Back to some of you needing to speak to professionals and get professional help because um, the trauma, the trauma of loss, the trauma of failure is holding you back. You're scared. You're scared shitless. And some of you need to gracefully aging. Um, you just need to have the maturity to move forward. And that's going to, you also move forward, move forward with wisdom, knowledge. Now you have new knowledge, wisdom of what not to do, what you should do. You should be moving forward confidently, okay, uh, with the gracefully aging here. Let's see what cards do, what other cards show up for us in the Butterfly Oracle deck. Some of you do need to get that healing work in terms of making changes. You're so, so fearful, so scared. Some of you need to go to professionals that can help um, maybe foster different um, skill set that you have within you so that you can... Um, maybe start something new. Like you don't know what you want to do. Some of you, a lot of you come to me wanting to start a business, but don't know what type of business you want to start. All right. So that's a big issue. Okay. Um, if you don't know what type of business you want to start, but you want to start your own business and you have a lot to unpack there. Um, because firstly, most business owners, they know what they want to do. They know where they want to go. They know, you know, they're not following, you know, a group or the group, or um, they're not at a place where they're just saying, I just want to own something. If you feel that way, go buy a home, go buy a rental property, rent it out. That's another form of income and you own something, but you're not technically a business owner. Okay. Um, but business owners have a passion, a drive, you know, for what they do, how they do it. Uh, so, um, you might need to sit with maybe a career assessment person or get some career assessment, what you would be good at, what you are good at. You may even just want to change careers, you know? So, um, let's see, let's see. Okay. This one to flip out. Oh, it came out again. Leaving. Yeah. It's like, y'all have a lot of stuff that happened to you in the past. It, it, it helped you in terms of shape, shaping you, your character. Um, you have that skill set now of what to do, what not to do, wisdom, knowledge. Um, I'm getting character again. It was like some stuff that you went through, it was to shape you here. It wasn't to break you, you know. 
um, it was to set you up. It wasn't a setback, but you need to leave the fears of this behind, of the toxicity, of the up and down. Toxic is just something that is unhealthy for you, right? Of course, to be in financial ruin or a financial roller coaster, not knowing you know the highs and the lows, of course, that is toxic. It is not good for you. It is unhealthy. So it's like the universe wants you to leave that behind or being in toxic work environments that can then take a toll on your health, uh, well-being, and, and your fitness. Also, leave it behind. Do what's best for you. Some of you need to take time to walk. Um, get outside if you can. If you're not in a place where you can go outside, or that you want to be outside, you know, because it's too cold or whatnot, then um, you need to uh, incorporate that in your home space. There's YouTube. You can, uh, they have videos, hours and hours of video, videos where you can look at different landscapes. You can meditate, listen to the calming music and looking at different landscapes. But you need to take your mind and your emotions on a journey here. You need to leave something behind. What do we have for Aquarius? Your relationship dynamics. Yeah, the relationship dynamic may be within a, a company. Um, some structure could be off. You feel differently about going to work or going back to work or um, something about the dynamic is off now. Like you used to be okay with it, but now you are not. Maybe you were okay with showing up to work for all of those years. And now you just feel like you just want to give up. You're despondent. It's boring. There's nothing left. It's lackluster. It, you know, it's all of those things. So maybe you feel differently now about work or how you do your work. Okay, these wanted to come out. Uh, parental care. Maybe you you showed up each and every day because you were a parent and you needed to. Um, some of you need to go and take care of your parents. So you may have to kind of go backwards and take care of ailing parents. So now you want more flexibility in your work structure. Some of you are coming to a realization in some type of epiphany that um, maybe you put a parenting or you put your children before yourself, you put your children before your own um, happiness, well-being, uh, emotions, okay? Um, again, you need to get to a place where you are processing your emotions accurately, okay? You're coming to some realization, epiphany that maybe you want to do something different, okay? Uh, we've got windfall. So something, some good luck, some money, some opportunity could be coming into you. And it's going to be like a, a rush of, um, goodness, of greatness, of good luck, of cheer. Um, again, some of you just need to rest, get some rest. You are not sleeping. You're not resting. You sleep, but you don't rest. Your mind is still going. You're kind of on autopilot for whatever reason. You're trying to leave something for the uh, next generation, a uh, legacy. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting there. Um, let's get some of the archetype cards. Now, some of this could uh, resonate, some of it couldn't. Let's see what we, we got going on here. Some of you are gonna get um, some big money. You know, you've been waiting for this, okay? Uh, you've been waiting to embark on something that fulfills you emotionally. Maybe you worked for a very long time on a job and it just, you know, it was just that. It was a job, you know. So let's see. Let's see what cards do we want for the Aquarius? What cards in terms of their career and finance? Somebody could think that you're nuts or you think that your boss is nuts or... Uh, maybe your your idea that you have for yourself or your own business. Someone could be saying it's a pipe dream. It's not going to work. They think that you're nuts for making this transition. Um, let's see. I love lying in your arms. Again, some of this stuff could resonate. Could not. Um, it's like maybe more. You want to do something that you love. You want to do something that fulfills you on an emotional level. Something that you're creative with or you create. Um, it comes from you. It's inspired. You love going to do whatever it is you do. You love creating. You love your work. And right now, some of you don't feel that way. You want you also you want peace. You're not getting peace. Maybe in your uh, at your job with your career. Let's see. It's not peaceful. Can't get over you. Help. Okay. Um. So this is for some of you who can't get over the fact of past failures something not working out um you losing it all um 
you you um, not succeeding or it not being a success uh, for a very long time. Um, you can't get over that. And that's the stumbling block. That's the hindrance to this windfall, to this good luck, to you starting something new. You don't want to put yourself back out there or out there again. Or some of you, you don't want to put yourself out there at all because you're overthinking the process here. Ooh, that wanted to pop out. Um, a whole lot of money. So some of y'all going to either make a whole lot of money. You lost a whole lot of money. Um, this could bring up about a lot of jealousy, a lot of people becoming red with anger because you know, you're getting what is due to you. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting there. Some of you could be coming again. We had windfall and now we have a whole lot of money. So let's see what else do we have coming up for the Aquarius. Um, okay yeah some of you were fired from a job it's hard for you to trust now may i'm hearing that some of you were fired unjustly you like it just wasn't right um how they did you or maybe they asked you to resign uh, maybe you felt pushed out there could be a lawsuit involving that some of you are very smart book smart okay and um some of you are being self-taught also you're teaching yourself something new you're learning something. Um, yeah, you're learning something here that's going to just add to your skill set, add to the repertoire, <laughs> to the resume of you. Um, all right, these cards want to fall out. We'll take these and then we'll try to close it out. Baby fever. So some of you have the fever of wanting to start something new. Again, that could be a new business, a venture, or a new job or something like that losing the house yeah something about losing everything maybe you lost everything um you could be losing your job or maybe you don't want to lose your stability you know you want to start something new but you feel like you're going to put everything online or on the line here um in need of new and real friends maybe you need to be around like-minded individuals like you trying to tell people who can't see your vision who have no vision because remember vision is the capability or the ability to be able to um in the present close your eyes and think of where you'll see yourself in the future and then come back to the present and start to make uh significant changes and take actions toward that what you saw for your future and some people just don't have the ability to do that and when you're talking to people who don't have the ability to do that, who uh, can't see your vision, who are just not positive, you need to get around some new um, and real people, new and real friends, some people who are like-minded. Because some, some of the people you're hanging with just no, It's just going to be a forever no. Um, travel with boyfriend or girlfriend. Um, again, some of you want to be able to be in a career field where you can um, have flexibility in your personal in your professional life you want to be able to take those trips you want to be able to go um, you want to be able to also do your work and maintain yourself um, and, you know uh, you want to have stability in your finances but you also want to enjoy yourself enjoy your finance some of you want to be able to work from anywhere maybe even work from home work remotely um, let's see what else we're going to close this out with the angels and ancestors oracle all right so really good deck who is aquarius right now who is aquarius right now via the angel and ancestor deck you are the moon aquarius take note of intuitive messages again if you're seeing synchronicities if you keep hearing something over and over again if someone is saying yeah and you should apply for this job and I apply for this job and you just keep having these kind of repetitive conversations maybe with different people or the same person something is trying to nudge you listen to your intuition it is speaking to you it's going to become very loud uh, for you around this full moon here you did have the um, gibbous moon here so it's about you know an energy the momentum increasing and it's also about uh, achieving your goal here aquarius okay so the cards fell out all right i'm gonna put them back because there are a lot um let's see 
what else who does Aquarius need to be so this is who you are you're the moon right now um there's a lot of um things that haven't been revealed to you this an unveiling maybe of your talents of your gifts maybe you've been getting a lot of intuitive wow okay intuitive um messages downloads dreams vivid dreams who you need to be you then have the high priestess showing up who you will be in the near future is the star ancestor wow this is really aquarius um you're you're about to come into the summertime in your life you're leaving the winter time or a tough time um because you were committed you were a sage and some of you are becoming great teachers very nice um all right so the high priestess this is who you need to be she listens to her intuition the cards are telling you where you are is needed to take note of intuitive messages okay so you need to take note of intuitive messages right now and uh but who you need to be is the high priestess harness mystic power okay um knowledge wisdom um acting and and not reacting okay being proactive making plans is the high priestess uh being tied to spirit being grounded in spirituality being rooted and grounded in spirituality so that um when those messages come in you can hear them clearly the star ancestor this is who you will be this is like a like a star child or um this is more like the um the alien follow the voice of your soul okay some of you feel alien to this world you feel like there's only one you and there is only one you and you feel like you're a one of a kind at times you feel like people don't get you back to the in need of new and real friends maybe you need to find your tribe your group of people who understand you uh completely fully uh you are the star ancestors almost saying that you were sent to this earth to offer the earth uh and the people of the earth something more greater than themselves the star ancestor uh you you travel through the um through the the system the solar system the astral this could even be astral projection and astral travel too maybe in your sleep in your deep sleep in your subconscious uh it also talks about you being from somewhere else you're not being from here aquarius <laughs> um and then we have uh yeah some of you so the winter is is hard it's cold it's tough you have to be tough you have to be strong um, you have to take care of your needs okay maybe you have been the lone wolf the wolf travel travels in packs but he also knows how to be the lone wolf so maybe you've done both maybe you are in a place of setting yourself apart right now but then you're going to come into the summer bask in the joy and the light the summer of life where things just work out well for you things are going well you look well you feel well there's vitality there is a higher brilliance okay this is really good all because you uh, were the sage um, you were devoted and committed you were committed to maybe your healing process because that's what the sage talks about you were committed to growth growth of yourself your inner self your emotional self your mental self you knew that you had to come out of the low vibrational energy um you knew you had to be honest with yourself and you had some of you were very committed to doing the work you know because we didn't enter the earth you know just being all knowing and a higher ascended person we've all done some shit we've all said some shit we you know and it was just more so about you being committed to coming out of that you are not who you are who you were five years ago two years ago three years ago one year ago you are different you you are growing you are thriving you're like a plant you should be thriving you should be growing you're like a tree you know um and because of that you're going to come into a place of being a great teacher um, you're going to learn from your spiritual experience okay and you're having so many of them um he's the yogi so he learned he is writing down his experience wow that's funny so you're writing down your experience and then you're going to teach other people you're going to be a great teacher by way of your spiritual experience this is beautiful aquarius some of you are going to have a lot to say you're going to be very wise we also did have um what came up um growth what was it uh I forget the card that came up when I split the deck. Um, anyhow, I can't think of it. Well, anyway, 
Um, this looks so good, Aquarius. Some of you have done the work. I mean, like you have done the work to the point where, you know, you are like an earth angel here. Did that come out? Well, not entirely, but yeah, um, you have done the work. Um, the powerful change is on the way to you, Aquarius. Um, stay flexible. Nothing is set in stone. You're not going to be doing the same thing over and over again. The universe has a, a plan for you. You just have to know it and you have to keep going. Um, make sure you are resting, Aquarius. Okay. Um, and the only way that you're going to have sobriety in your life is to ground yourself. So make sure that you ground yourself. This is what I have for you. If it resonates for you in terms of your career and your finance, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Um, let's put some stars because you are the star ancestor Aquarius down in the comment section. You are the star. You're the star, of course, um, of the Zodiac, of the Tarot. Uh, and it looks like you're coming into a place of actually listening to your inner voice. Something has been with you for a very long time, speaking to you uh, quietly, whispering to you, do that, do this. Yeah, you should be your own business owner. You should, um, you know, cultivate that talent that you have. Maybe you can sing very well. You can draw, you can act, you can dance. It's just about putting yourself out there. And the high priestess talks about, um, that small voice that will be with you a lifetime until you actually make the decision to, to um, embark on that whisper. So this is beautiful Aquarius. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Today is uh, Wisdom Wednesday. Take advantage of booking a reading today. Go over to the website, go to the community tab. There's so many different discounts and deals over there. And then head over to the website and book your reading there. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Bye.